So the zipper on your favorite mid to high end outdoor jacket or sweater failed. Either the main zipper broke or the tab broke off or a combination of the two. Now there's no reason why you should toss a sweater. You can simply replace that zipper. I'll show you how to do it. Now first you've got to identify the type of zipper you're replacing. Is it a common zipper that might be found on the pocket zips? Or is it the main locking zipper used on the main row of teeth that allow you to keep the jacket tight to your body? In this case, my 15 year old North Face sweater, uh, the main locking zipper failed. And this is what I'm gonna replace today. So believe it or not, there's actually some tech to these locking zippers. They're not your standard zipper. They have this horseshoe shaped collar that connects to an internal pin inside uh, the zipper assembly where the teeth go. There it is. So it's that pin that locks your zipper to the teeth. And when you're not pulling on the tab, you're not activating this collar and you're not in turn activating this pin to keep the teeth uh, bound together. So it's great if you're using a jacket uh, that's you know designed for high activity, um, there's a good chance that the material could be pulled um, left and right when you least expect it. With uh, common zippers, those zippered teeth would pull open unexpectedly. With locking zippers, unless you're pulling on the tab in an up or down direction to engage that tooth, that zipper is going nowhere. So to remove the failed main locking zipper on this sweater, I'm gonna have to remove it by using some needle nose pliers to open up the flange to allow it to open around the top retaining uh, plastic tab. I could pull it through the bottom here, but I risk uh, destroying this uh, riveted bottom stop and I don't wanna do that. I have a better chance of removing this zipper over the top tab. Now first, I wanna take my needle nose pliers and insert it in the open tab on the open side and take my flathead screwdriver and carefully insert it underneath the opening of the tooth tab and give it a slight twist. And I'm hoping by applying constant careful pressure, I can open up that flange enough so I can pull the zipper over that top retaining tab. So hopefully you can see the difference between the OEM side of the zipper and the side that we just pried open with our flathead screwdriver. It should be just big enough to now pull over our um, original uh, teeth. Give it a quick tug. There you go. The broken 15 year old locking zipper removed and in its place we'll put the new locking zipper. Now it's important to note that you want to put the new locking zipper on in the same direction that the old zipper came off. In this case, this eye was facing the interior of the garment, so when I put the new zipper on, I'm going to ensure that its eye also faces the interior of this garment. So at this point, we got to open up the flange of the new locking zipper. And again, I want to make sure that the eye is facing towards the interior of the garment before I start. So I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to hold the zipper on the side that doesn't face the main teeth. And I'm gonna use my flat head to carefully insert, twist, and pry open the side that face the main teeth. So the new zipper slips right onto the teeth. Now it's just a matter of closing that flange down to get it to uh, match the original gap on the uh, non-zip tooth side. I'm gonna take my same needle nose pliers and apply pressure on one end. Come around and apply pressure on the back end. Do a quick inspection on uh, that gap compared to the non uh, two spacing gap and looks pretty good. It might feel a little rough at first, you could always go back with your needle nose pliers and make some micro adjustments, but you got the zipper on the original teeth, and most importantly, you didn't have to destroy the top retention tab of that zipper. So you can go ahead and zip it as tight as you want without worrying about the zipper coming off the teeth. Now a little fix like that might seem non-sequential, but 
I mean, this sweater is $100. That black North Face sweater was $200. So, you know, little $5 fix salvages this sweater. Puts $100 in my pocket. Keeps the sweater on me. And translates to funds for more fishing gear in the future.